off that day and I was just getting ready to leave the house and I got a text from a friend inquiring what ship was Xavier on. And I said, the Fitzgerald. I didn't think anything of it. Went out, came back and noticed my mom had called. And you know, she was called me, called me, called me. And then the other message was from the same person showing me pictures of the Fitzgerald had, had a collision. So instantly I'm on the television, I'm this, I'm calling him and no answer. And oh my gosh, you're just glued by the TV and the laptop is right there and the phone. I mean, everything is right there and you're just something, something, something. And then it's at a quarter to three in the morning, you get a knock at the door and initially no one's knocking at my door at three in the morning. And by the time I get down there, they're at left and when I open up the door, the card fell down. It was wedged in between the doorknob and it said United States Navy. And I knew then. And I called and they were still in the neighborhood and they came back and I'm just pacing in the driveway and then they uh, said, well, maybe we should go in. Well, maybe you should sit down. And then it was the seven and it's, you know, you don't want to believe, okay, it is the seven, but you don't want to believe, you know, they're somewhere there. This can't happen. And you're just waiting and waiting, and then finally they showed up, like I said, 21 hours later, confirming. When you have a child, you, theoretically, you fall in love with them. They're no different than any other relationship. You take pictures, you can't wait to go home. You, when my kid was born, I cut the cord, I held him before his mother, I did everything. I couldn't wait to get home to see him. You know, my car just filled up with the anticipation. So, fast forward. 24 years old. It's no different than any other relationship. You come home from work and this person is breaking up with you. And you're in love with this person because it is a relationship, okay? And your first thing, human nature is, I can change, please don't leave. I can, and we've all been through that in a relationship. And this person does not want to hear it and they just left the keys, didn't pack, no forwarding email, no forwarding Skype, no, nothing. I wasn't ready to break up with my son. I was not ready to say goodbye. And people say, well, you have memories. Memories just brings on pain because you remember the good things and everything else, you know? And I'm, I need more than that. I'm used to his Texas. I was used to his Skyping, emailing, you know, uh, dot mil, whatever, you know? It's our relationship, we, not only were we best friends, I mean, I was father and son, but, you know, I put ink on my arm because of him. It's different, I was talking to my mom yesterday, and we were talking about the four army um, guys who just got ambushed. And she said, you know, it, beforehand, you would be just, before all this happened, she looked at it like, wow, that's really sad. But now, you can actually relate. It takes it to a whole different level. You know, you can relate. Your heart goes out. You want to do something for these people. Um, since this tragedy with my son, it's amazing how the whole nation has just come together. I mean, I just going through cards. I have roughly over 300 cards, and maybe I know maybe 10 of these people. And people have just sent cards, Afghan wraps. I mean, you just everything. People, the whole nation has just come together to honor and to offer their condolences to the loss of my son. Definition of Veterans Day. Before being a vet, I was pretty much like any other person on the planet in the United States of the day that we got off. Being prior military, being a veteran, and even more so within the last four months uh, with my son um, losing his life in the, United, in the United States Navy, it's a whole different meaning altogether. Um, when he joined the Navy, he was stationed at the National Security, well actually he was employed by the National Security Agency. And his whole track, it was set positive. Okay, they wanted him to um, enroll in a program. If he was accepted, they were gonna give him a free ride to his doctorate. 
and all he had to do was give time and a half back to the agency. And six months later, he resigned and joined the military. And when I inquired, Xavier, what brought this change on, he quoted me. He said, Dad, you always said that every male should join some branch of the service because it rounds off the rough edges. And I couldn't argue with that. That's, I believe in it. I, I, I'm a patriot. I, I believe in the mission. <laughs> and now it just, every day to me now since the accident uh, on the Fitzgerald, it's been Veterans Day to me. That's just me. Um, I find it very comforting going out to Arlington and sitting at his marker and just sitting there and just, it's an amazing place that you just sit there and you look at all the fallen soldiers and sailors and airmen and marines that are buried there. It's a whole different connotation altogether now for me. I get it. It's not just go out and show your DD-214 and get a free meal, okay? It's a lot more to that, you know? It's a, it's a brotherhood. Military is a brotherhood.